Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. I've got my hinges and I'm going to glue them in. And uh, take me some six minute epoxy. I came up with a different way to glue these in. I'll show you guys. So you don't have to sit there and hold it. So you don't actually have to sit there and hold it. I'm going to use my sanding block. Okay. Check this out. I think it's a pretty good idea. Let me drop my 3-in-1 oil on that plastic. that dude in there okay now I hold that up you seen it get ready for your trivia questions tonight I've been I've already got a bunch of good questions it's gonna be fun you guys on the other side of the world you're gonna to have to set your alarm clocks guys it's gonna be fun I don't want anyone to miss out so go ahead and go to bed now and set your alarm clock for 2 or 3 in the morning and <laughs> see you can participate too doggone it this is going to be the only way you get an autographed t-shirt I know y'all want one of them just think if you showed up at your flying field and all your buddies around seeing you show up with that t-shirt Okay, then I'm just going to take my see, my sandal block and uh, set it down there and I could actually just walk away. The only thing we got to watch is the height of our pin and we want that, where do we want it? Flush, we want that pin right in the middle of our the top of the door. Just so. And that will make that will get my hinge line straight. Where everything will open good. Really the only thing I gotta watch is make sure them pins open straight up and down. And yeah I have glued them things in crooked before. There, bam, there's that. And I figure I'll answer some questions tonight during the movies. I'll try and answer the questions and or in between the questions on our game show, the two minutes we have to kill, I'll try and uh, answer some questions people were asking. But I sure hope everyone makes it and I sure hope it works out good. These are the standoff things. These are the final ones I made for my little wheels. So I made them a little bit bigger to where they, I can, they'll glue on better. And I got my hole drilled just exactly right the same. I took me one and used it for the master and used my drill press. Put one on top of the other as long as I went off my same original starting one, the rest of them were the same. Then I just took my hot glue gun and put a little drop of glue on them and glued them on there so I could paint them. I just used some flat spray balm paint I had. Now since I'm dry, I'm going to attach my wheels and then I could glue them in place. But they look they look a lot neater than the other things I had. Plus they'll glue on really good. I don't want them things breaking off. And not being able to drop our ordnance but I think this right here was a good idea 
And y'all can do this with your elevators and uh, anything you need to glue. And if you got one of these, if not, a, a straight stick would probably work. I know we got there's you know, sticks everywhere. <laughs> you can find a nice straight one or a piece of wood. I'll use about anything that was straight. And as long as you got something on your piece there. And you got your hinge oiled up. It's good to go. But I'm going to get these glued on today. And uh, this week, folks, what I'm going to work on, I'll show you. I am going to make some new gear doors. These things just won't stop warping. I've uh, heated them up and everything and they still want to warp up and I'm afraid as soon as I cut all this out that when the gear door is shut there's going to be lips everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I got enough resin to uh, take this part here and set it down. Well, that is the new main gear door mold. I'm going to go ahead and lay me up a new one. And then I'm, I'm going to use light ply on that instead of balsa. And because uh, when my gear door is shut, I want, I want all this right here to be flush with each other you know and not corners sticking up because that all just folds down and it's supposed to be nice and flat and really I can't put nothing in there for them to go to you know what I mean no uh, lips or nothing so we're just going to have to rough it And uh, but if I make them out of light ply and get the shape just perfect light ply and fiberglass and do it all at once. I'll do my glass with pill ply, then pull my pill ply off and glue my wood on there while it's still stuck, you know, before I pop it off. And uh, I'm hoping that'll make them stay flat because that's just too tacky. I don't see if you can see this corner's way up and this corner's way up. Same way on that one. But I think what caused that is I glued that balsa on there. It was all flat that day, but I let them sit on here for three or four days. And I think they, you know, cold at night because I turned my heater off. And then warming up, I think that expansion and contracting just got that wood, just warped the wood. And, and then after I glassed it, it's just locked in place, and that's just where it wants to relax, and ain't nothing I can do to fix it, and, you know, so, something like this, it's, you know, you're better off just making a new one, and it's no big deal, you know, because I could heat them things up and get them right today, and hinge them and glue them on, a month from now, they'll be all warped, and I just don't want that. I want this thing to look good for a long time, but... It's going to look good with all them Bombay's on there in the end. I'm thinking about, once I get all this done today, I'll have all this done today, is going ahead and uh, painting the bottom. And uh, that way when I get it flipped over, the bottom's pretty much done. And uh, I don't have much body work to do on the top. Cut out the windshield and uh, it's ready to paint. I can get my window glass in there, be sitting on wheels. My bomb bays will be done and plumbed. All the air cylinders hooked up, gear doors hooked up, air cylinders hooked up. We're coming right along, folks. I got some news on our wings, too. I'm going to have to let you know on our later video. But as soon as I get some more resin, and as soon as that other mold's done, I'm heading to Texas and we're going to get them wings whooped out. So I hope everyone can make it for the game show tonight. It's going to be a blast and uh, we're going to give away some t-shirts, autographed t-shirts. The only place you can get them right here in the 